What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Well, maybe we could do it like a Beach Boy chorus. Oh, okay. Right? One, two, three. What's up, everybody? <laughs> I've never, they've never played the whole, we are everybody, like you've never heard the whole song, I, th I think once they play it, and, uh, but all I, all we have to go off is that three second line, uh, once again, from Lost, yeah. Charlie's Band, yeah. you should watch Lost, I think it might explain a lot of things for a lot of people, speaking of Lost, <laughs> so today's episode is brought to you by the letter J. <laughs> J as in Jocko, Joe Rogan, and Jonah Hill. And I'll start with Jocko. Okay, go. Go. So Jocko, who also read War is a Racket, did a podcast about it. Um, while he, at least he did a podcast about it, I believe he's still towing the party line, drinking the Kool-Aid, and defending this fucked up fucking democracy it's supposed to be a republic that he is defending because probably for him it's his money if he fucking went against his base right because he's too much into it he just moved into a big house he's got more stuff he's charging five thousand dollars to see him for a weekend he's lost his i think his credibility he sold himself out because anybody who could or should would read with a box and a fox with some locks or his racket he doesn't lie, he doesn't uh, extra pole, he doesn't fucking make up shit, there's no, he is telling you the truth, war is a racket, these fuckers are making money off our deaths, and that's it, and uh, so I was disappointed in Jocko for, oh, well, you know, he's a little angry, he's blah, blah, like, defending the fucking bullshit. I'm just surprised at why, why say anything about it at all, like, if he was in such disagreement, what was the point of him even saying anything about it? It just feels strange. Because he, he has to defend the bullshit. But it's not like this just came out. It's just so new publishing. It's been around. It's, it's so out of anyone's purview. It's just strange. It's, the timing is strange. It's strange. Well, no, because he admits. He's like, this book is, is exactly what's going on right now. Look at Afghanistan. War is a racket. They did nothing except make money and kill people. That's it. Okay. He's no, in that. He's in agreement in that, but then he, he backs off and he's like, well, you know, it's blah, blah, blah. But no. Like, he's fucking wrong. And and Basmati is a rice, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but so the, the, the selling out, the being owned then takes me to Joe Rogan. And I love Joe Rogan. And he does a lot of good things, says a lot of good things. But he, too, is part of that system. And it's corrupt and it's got you. So he can't just come out and say everything. Uh, poor Dave Chappelle. Got people walking out on fucking Netflix for nothing. He didn't say anything that would hurt anybody. People that... are so ridiculous. Like, that is the most ridiculous thing. Like, you are that sensitive. You, your skin is that thin. You're so narrow-minded. You're gonna walk you're, off your job because you don't like the way something sounded. You're as bad as the fucking Christian white right wing. There's no difference. People who are racist against you or sexist against you because you like men or you like women. You're as fucking wrong as the pilgrims. It's horrific. It makes my brain itch. Because it just because you were molested doesn't mean you molest people. Just because people fucking treat you like shit doesn't mean you treat other people like shit. Just mind your own business, do your work, be a good person, and go about your day. I mean, rally. I mean, ugh. N NPR claimed that Dave Chappelle is uh, using his white entitlement. Uh, Dave Chappelle's black. <laughs> You can't have white privilege. There's no white privilege. Dumb motherfuckers. So, what, is that? what does that even mean? It means that what we don't mean? understand definitions. What we're is, is. Now. We're gonna, we'll just start saying this, and now this is going to catch on, and this is, you know, all the sheep will start saying it, even though it, it's... You can't, you can't say that it doesn't work. Dave Chappelle just needs to go away. 
enjoy the rest of his life, retire, his ass off. and don't worry about none of these motherfuckers, Dave. They're a bunch of cocksuckers, and not the good kind of cocksucker either. <laughs> so Rogan had Mike Baker on, and uh, Mike Baker used to be in the CIA. I believe that the things that he says are either cleared by them, or they tell him what to say, or what, but you can tell when he's telling the truth and when he's lying. Um, I don't like that. Just don't say something. If you can't say it, then don't say it. But don't fucking lie, Mike Baker. And Rogan, don't let me get away with it. And and why can't we find all your podcasts? Like, especially the Brody Stevens one where he, he admits he's 10% gay. And Joe Rogan, you also admitted you were 10% gay. I will also admit that I'm 10% gay. Like, just the way we are. But... We're all 10% gay. You need balance, male and female. Maybe you're more than one, maybe you're less than one, but you need balance and you gotta fill it up. So, Joe Rogan, please. Fix the videos. Fix the videos. We need we need more Joe Rogan in our life. All right, now on to Jonah Hill. All right, so surfers are mad that Jonah Hill is surfing. I don't know why. Um... They said Jonah Hill ruins surfing. I don't know. I think surfing ruins surfing. I think commercialism ruins surfing. I think Kelly COVID Slater surfing. ruins surfing all the time. Yes, COVID. Oh, yeah, Kelly Slater first. Fuck Kelly Slater. Yes, so, screw that guy. So what happened is in L.A. or California, um, COVID hit, and people couldn't go anywhere, and they couldn't do anything. And so then they all went and got surfboards, and they all showed up at the beach, and really they need to go take some classes or maybe we need to put some rules out there of how to surf or etiquette or something Uh um the only good thing is that they are having fun and the best surfer in the world is the one having the most fun so i won't knock him that and and that's jonah hill uh he's lost weight he still looks horrible i don't know about that beard and those glasses and and so if you want to say that he's ruined the look of surfing, then yes, Jonah Hill is fucking fucked. But he has every right to be out there surfing, catching waves, doing whatever, being a free person. One, he's white. Two, he's male. And three, he lives in America. So he can do whatever he wants as long as he's not raping anybody or hurting anybody. Like uh, his friend, James Franco, we're good with Jonah Hill. It's the same thing as the people walking off Netflix just let the guy find his way to surfing leave him alone about it just let the dude do his thing it's his process he, he's a horrible surfer but but he's who is it i i've been surfing 33 years and i figure i just started figuring out actually how to surf so and yeah just well, i don't that it's the constant need to bring someone down because if I push you down, I push myself up. Yep. Yeah. It's just a disease. It's a disease in this country. I mean, how much time do you have on your hands to go online and start complaining about another surfer online just to publicly try to do something negative? What kind of loser are you? You're the worst. The worst. You're, you're, you're the Delta variant of life. Yeah, they didn't have any reason that they did. They just didn't like that he showed up. Yeah, I don't know. Fucking people. People suck. I mean, that which. Yeah, and those are not true surfers. No. Because a true surfer would never do that. Nope. Because a true surfer understands that it's it's not a sport or a hobby. It's it's an art. It's personal. It's. It's a religion. It's it's a religion. It's and a it's life. life. They just don't. Do and so we've been watching a lot of old surf movies because we've got the surf network now only $5.99 a month and so we've been watching and uh, Mr. Brown I can't think of his first name at the moment Dana Dana Brown who made The Endless Summer we're watching Hollow Days and he's in Australia and everybody's just like sharing waves like it's about sharing the waves and having fun and yeah it's, not, it's nice to have a wave all to yourself critical wave then yeah you probably want to be on it by yourself but if it's just a nice rolling low slow wave and why not share with all your buddies and have a good time and 
smile. They're all smiling. Yes. They're, everyone's smiling in those eras. Right. They're just smiling or laughing. Or it's They're having childish fun. Yeah. They're being goofy. Yeah. You know, I don't see anyone smile out in the water. I see people scowl and give dirty looks. Yeah. Even after you say, hey, how's it going? Mm-hmm. And then someone just looks at you like you told them they were, I don't know what. It's strange to me. Barely. I did learn about that guy's toenail at the wedge, though, so that was funny. <laughs> you never know what you're going to learn about. <laughs> but what was the time? It's scowling. No scowling. Life is too short to have a bitch face. And then you have to be worried because somebody could come and hit your back while you're making that face, and then your face will be perpetually stuck in a bitch face. And we don't need that any more bitch faces than we got. There are too many. I was thinking about giving rides to people at the the bus stop. I was like, you guys want? I don't, because they didn't, but I want to bring every homeless person home. <laughs> so, don't be mean to people. Be nice. Um, we were watching Bill Maher last night. He was like, get off the internet. Stop saying mean things. This, this is the one lesson I learned from my mom. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't, don't say, say anything at all. Just don't say nothing. If if you're you're so inclined, you gotta say something. Go home, or or maybe you can call us, make a comment, and be like, hey, I'm. Jay's JJJ, thank you very much for listening. Have a great day and stay safe, happy, healthy, and out of trouble.